General, the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tukurubura Tai, on Thursday said that the operation positive identification would not hinder the day-to-day -day activities of Nigerians. Buratai made this known while fielding questions from the House of Representatives Committee on uh, Army in Abuja, represented by the Chief of Civil Military Affairs, Major General Usman Mohammed. Buratai said the Army had submitted a detailed report on the OPI to the committee. Buratai also added that the OPI is one of the sub-operations which is ongoing in the northeast zone. And according to him, based on credible intelligence, Boko Haram terrorists are no longer in their enclaves. They are spreading out away from their traditional strongholds. The army chief said the Operation Positive Identification, which started on September 22nd in the northeast, was based on the intelligence. And now with us on, on phone uh, to still discuss this matter further is uh, Mr. Dennis Amakri, who is a former assistant director of State Security Service, and he joins us now. Good day, Mr. Amakri. Good day, Mr. Amakri. Thanks for joining us. Yes. All right. Now, the first question would be, what's your thoughts on the proposed operation positive identification by the Army? Well, you know, this, this particular uh, uh, subject is being overflowed. Overflowed in the sense that uh, we have allowed the military to actually encroach on uh, police duty, mm -hmm. which is for internal security. Okay. All right. Are you, are you with me? Y yes, sir. Please do go ahead. I can hear you. So uh, it's a situation where they are supposed to be restricted to defending the, uh, the external uh, territorial integrity of the country, not to talk to the country, you know, uh, except to fight it by the police. Mm -hmm. Now the police, during, during the election, had a hard situation where there was confrontation with the army. Yeah. Like in Port Harcourt. Now, why is it that the army is now arrogating certain duties to themselves? Mm. If you want to do identification of Nigeria, I think the right uh, uh, agent to do that will be the Nigerian Immigration Service. Mm -hmm. So, if there are intelligence that they have got that. Um, Bandits have uh, improved to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. They should give that to the intelligence to either the police or the DSS that will uh, pursue it further to do what they have to do. Mm -hmm. It's not for the military to be going all over the place, all over the state, um, with one kind of dance or with one kind of operation. Mm -hmm. I think uh, the president have to curb their powers because apparently they are just on the loose right now. Hmm. Right. Having said that, you know, uh, since this broke out, a lot of Ni some Nigerians, I would say, are saying that allowing the military to do this, you know, what they have proposed, the operation identific uh, positive identification, it would mean intimidation and harassment of citizens and even encroaching uh, on their human rights. How do you respond to that, sir? Of course. How is the military going to do this? Are they going to set up uh, checkpoints all over the country and be stopping people to check uh, which kind of identity they are carrying? Mm -hmm. Or they are just going to uh, follow some kind of uh, information they've had and start knocking on people's door, bring them out to identify whether they are Nigerians or not? Mm -hmm. This is a clear situation of uh, infringement on the human rights at the and, and the uh, privacy of uh, Nigeria. Okay. And now, there, there's been also confusion in terms of, you know, what was let out uh, by the military. At some point, we heard that it was fake news. And then we, we heard, again, this, that they're moving forward with this. How could they have done it? You know, what best way could the military have done it in terms of enlightening uh, the public and creating awareness to be able to, you know, erase this form of uh, confusion and misunderstanding that we've seen? They should not uh, like anybody. Their duty is not for internal security. I think immediately we get this right, I think there will be no problem. Hmm. When the military believes that it, 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 it can go 
to internal security and then of course uh, keep on uh, asking or doing certain things, even taking press statements. The military is not supposed to be heard. We want to hear from either the Ministry of Defense, not the army coming out and telling people what they want to do or what. You know, we are not in the military regime anymore. Hmm. All right, having said that, sir, uh, the final question would be, what would be strategy? You know, as we talk about security, improving security in our country, what would be the relevant strategy that the police or the military would need to deploy in order to improve the insecurity, you know, the, the insecurity that is across the country as we hear it on a daily basis? What should they do? We have said it before and we'll say it again, mm -hmm. that the, the police is responsible for internal security. And it's going to be supported by the TSN, you know, and other social defense uh, uh, organizations. So if we feel that the police is not strong enough, what we have to do is to train them, you know, recruit more policemen, and then train them to take over, you know, the internal security situation in the country. Because there are so many ungoverned spaces. And that's why you are having things like uh, kidnappers, you are having all kinds of bandits running all over the place. Because the law enforcement agencies are not reaching out to those areas.